lost in all the Wyatt family mystique is the fact that Bray Wyatt is one of the absolute best inside that ring. You know, it's true. Behind that spine-chilling appearance is actually a very accomplished competitor. Ow! And there's another nasty kick to the gut. And you gotta figure it becomes extremely difficult to breathe after a few of those. What impact delivered from that toss. John Cena with the offense. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no countouts in this match. Well, there's all kind of things underneath that ring. Steel chairs, tables, ladders. Be careful, Cole. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Oh, right off the skull. Oh, my God. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Wow, he's still down after that. And we're going back between the ropes. He's checking under the ring, possibly looking for an object in this no disqualification match. What a shot! Great offense by John Cena. An aggressive shot to the midsection. Uh-oh, look at this. damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Things are about to get ugly. Oh no! Watch out! And this is going to return to the ring. What kind of devastation will we see now? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. Did you hear the impact of those steel steps? Oh my, enough with the steps. Using the steps as a weapon. John Cena with the offense. You know, Michael, it seems hard to believe that John Cena has held the WWE Championship more than 10 times. I know, Unreal. That sounds impossible. I remember the 10th time he won the title taking it from Alberto Del Rio in Buffalo on the Night of Champions in 2011. That was the kind of a milestone that we might get to witness once in a generation. And we called the match. Yes. He's going to inflict more damage with the steel. Now back under the ring, looking for another object of some sort. Good Lord, he's just hell-bent on naming his opponent. Those steps still being used to tenderize their opponent. The steps again. Oh my god. Oh, that did it. Oh, the punch connects. I'd get out of the way right about now. You know, we were talking about the incredible way John Cena secured his 10th WWE Championship. The deck was stacked against him on that night of champions in 2011. Yes. He had to beat Alberto Del Rio, and the Mexican aristocrat had some help. But as he usually does, John Cena dug down deep. He beat the odds, and he claimed the title. Cena was a man possessed that night. Oh, Cena was possessed all right, Michael. And he did some repossessing, too. He stole Alberto's car before the match and entered the arena in it. Remember that? Of course I did. Cena was really trying to provoke Del Rio, and it worked. Alberto was furious. You don't steal an aristocrat's automobile. You just don't do it. Resemble your traditional WWE superstar, but believe me, he can move in that ring. On top of his twisted mentality, Bray is strong as an ox and quick as a cat. Bray Wyatt will surprise you with his moves for someone who's six foot three and weighs 285 pounds. That's it. He's done. That should do it right there. Keep your eye on Cena.
Here we go. John Cena setting it up. Incredible move by John Cena. Oh, launched back into the ring. There's all sorts of crazy stuff under the ring, and all of it can inflict a lot of damage on an opponent. Let that go. We got kids watching. Wow, if he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Relentless with that steel chair. Oh my, get the medics down here. Bray Wyatt is going in for the kill. And quickly going for the cover. And he wins the Extreme Rules match. And here's some highlights from the Mets. Go to the highlights here. Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. Let's see some of the highlights. the only way to describe this match. Let's take a look at some of the big moments. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. Man, what a contest. We definitely just witnessed one for the ages. Brother. Brother.